Hey guys, in this video, we're going to take a look at how to customize your material usage page. And this is a really great way to document your materials and communicate that to your customers. So let's go ahead and take a look. The first thing that you want to do is hover your cursor over the tab on the top left and then select add-ons. And we're going to scroll down just a little bit until we see material usage. As we open this up, you'll see that we actually have the ability to customize this page completely. Even though it does come with your standard pest control materials, it can accommodate any industry. You'll see at the very top, we do have the ability to hide or show the materials used on our paperwork and option to display the entire material list in all of our paperwork as well. Right here, you can actually rename every header right here. So for example, you're not used calling materials materials or you prefer calling them, let's say chemicals, that would be possible. So again, what we're going to do is just click on this pencil icon and then change it to what we want them to be called and then just hit save. And right now, as you can see, it's not materials anymore. Rather, it's now chemicals. So same goes with the other fields right here. You can rename locations, um, target past, methods, units, area. So you can rename them. And then if there is a certain field right here that you don't want to show on your invoices, all you have to do is click the toggle right here to turn them off. Turning them off will not show the exact um, information on your paperwork, just like what we have here on the area field. Also, it's also easy for you to add, remove, and edit the existing materials right here. If we wanted to edit this specific material, all you have to do is click this pencil icon that will show up each time you hover your mouse on the specific item, and then you can rename it whatever you'd like. You can also edit the EPA number if you want to. You can also remove the specific material if you want. Also, if you wanted to add another material under this field, you can just click this add new and you'll be able to enter the chemical name and the EPA number and then hit save. That's also the same for all of the fields right here. So you can add a new location by clicking this add new. You can add a new target pass by clicking add new. So same goes for the other ones. You can also edit, delete, edit, delete. All right. So it really serves as a kind of your material bank. So you'll want to set that up accordingly. Now we're going to check how this looks in our paperwork. So we're just going to go back to our calendar and let's open up a job. And we navigate to materials tab right here. And now we can add additional materials. And if you remember, we changed the header from materials to chemicals. So keep that in mind. And we're going to add that right here. So we're going to add our material. And right here, we're going to select our materials. By the way, guys, if you've noticed, we have this pins right here at the top. So even though it's not in the order that you want to. I just wanted to let you know that you can actually pin the ones that you use usually. So let's say, for example, this Cyper TC. You wanted that to the top. That's going to go there. All you have to do is click this pin. All right. Although it's not going to be by the order when you pin pinned them first, but it's going to be alphabetically in order right here. So after that, just click on the material, add the unit, add the dilution, the method, the location, and then the target pest. And then just hit save. So now that we've saved our material information or our material list for this specific job, let's go ahead and pull up our work order. So we're just going to click on this PDF button and that will redirect us to a different page. And as you can see right here earlier, we changed the name 
uh, materials to chemicals and it shows right here as chemicals in our paperwork. So we have chemicals, quantity, dilution, method, location, target pest. And if you remember earlier from our material usage under add-ons, we actually hide the area. So if you notice on our material list right here on our work order and invoices, it doesn't have an area. But if we actually turn this on, the area will show on this paperwork. So it's really up to you. If you wanted to turn off the target past, it's not going to show here on your paperwork. So you can communicate all of the information or just some of the information, whatever you'd prefer. It's a great way to stay in contact with your customers and to record your data as well. Now let's quickly just take a look at adding materials from the mobile app because you can actually manage your list even out in the field. If you open a job from our mobile app, let's go ahead and switch to mobile app first. All right. Now, if we go ahead and pull up a job, let's say this one right here. And scroll down until you see materials right here. Now, if you click on this plus icon right here, you'll have the ability to manage your material list or add a new material. So if you wanted to add a material onto this job, just click this add material and you'll be able to do the exact thing that we did on the desktop version of Gorilla Desk. You can also pin materials that you usually use for the job so that it will be at the top. You can add the quantity, the method, location, and target pest, and then you can save it afterwards. Now, if you wanted to check the PDF copy of the material while you're out in the field, just click on this three dot at the upper right corner. And then you will see here you can that you can view the PDF work order. So once you click on that, it will generate a PDF copy of the work order. And as you can see, we have the field for the materials or chemicals. All right. So you can even manage your material list right in this field. So again, just click on this plus button and then manage material list. And as you can see, you can manage your material list from here. If you're going to click on this three dot, it will allow you to edit the material or delete the material. If you wanted to add a material, just click on this plus icon right here and you'll be able to name the material that you wanted to add and then hit save right after. And again, this is a great way to document your findings and communicate that with your customers. So it can give you a ton of time and it'll definitely impress your clients. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give us a call if you have any questions or clarifications at 855 536-7470. See you in the next video. Bye!